Maybe as a kid, you had some type of creative act and through that expression, time just disappeared. Maybe for you it was dancing or drawing or painting or it was some type of thing that as you grew up, you stopped doing it. Somebody said to you that you're not going to get paid by doing that or somebody said to you that it's not important or maybe you created the illusion in your mind that it was not important for you to do anymore because you weren't getting paid because you started to get some other interests that will always lead to money. But before in the past, when you were a little kid, you had some type of creative expression that you just loved. It was building or maybe it was acting or maybe it was singing or maybe it was playing the guitar, but you stopped. And one of the best things that you could do, not just for your mind, but for your soul, for your happiness, for your passion in life, is to get yourself doing what you once loved. And not doing it to get something, but doing it just because you love the act itself. I love making videos. If I wasn't getting paid for this, I would still be doing it because there is this knowledge that is within me that I feel I just need to get out. And that's how you know, there is something, if there is something that you truly love, it's not like you want to do it, it's something that you feel like you have to do it. And I had that when I, when I had my health and fitness channel, I just loved speaking about personal development and I created this illusion in my mind that I can't get out of that shell, that identity of speaking about personal development because I created the identity for myself that I'm, that I'm a health and fitness trainer. I just need to speak about health and fitness. But the very second that I boxed myself in from expressing what was on my heart, what I was truly passionate about, I got really sad. And maybe you, know, you may not be feeling sad because you're not playing the guitar or doing what you once loved as a kid, but you would be so much happier if you were to get yourself in that zone, that creative genius zone, where you just loved doing the act itself, not for the outcome of what you were going to get, but just because you loved the process. I have to make these videos. I have to. Otherwise, I would go crazy. I would go crazy if I had, if I'm reading all this knowledge and I didn't make a status or I didn't, I didn't make a video. What is it that you have to do? What is it that you've been wanting to do, but you've been saying to yourself that there's no purpose in doing it? Maybe it's writing. Maybe it's journaling. What if you were to, because I know, I know, I know many people, right? who they love writing, but they think that they need to turn it into a business. No, if you feel good doing that thing, well, first off, if you just go into the process of getting into that creative zone, later down the track, as a byproduct of getting in that creative state, there are going to be gifts along the way. You may share it on Facebook and somebody say, that's a really good thing. I'd love to, I'd love for you to, to do a guest blog, a guest blog post on my website, and that may lead to some business opportunity. But because you've been creating a story for yourself about why it's not important, you are killing off the opportunities that the universe, God, whatever it is that you believe, is wanting to send your way because you're blocking yourself off for expressing your creativity. Go dance, go sing, go write, go, go make a video. Whatever it is that is on your heart, do it. Whatever it is that is on your heart, follow it. Whatever it is that is in your heart, express it. If you do that, you will see happiness pour into your life. But what is it that you're going to do? What is the commitment that you're saying to yourself right now that you're going to get back into to express your creativity, to rejuvenate your soul, to be happy because you're doing the act of expressing your creativity? What is it? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what it is because I'd love to hear what it is. And the moon, it's a full moon right now. And I can see it in the mirror. So that's amazing. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what that thing is. And until I see you guys in the next video, remember to love all living things and most importantly, love thyself.